What's up guys? This is Tony. And I got my Milwaukee blower and I got my Milwaukee trimmer. And so today, let's try to do all our weed eating and blowing totally electric. And uh, you know, I'm uh, obviously my mower is not electric and I may do some hedge trimming with my long hedge trimmer that are gas if I need to, um, which I probably will at some point. But yeah, so let's try to go all electric today with blowing and trimming our normal blowing and trimming let's see how it goes let's get into it With this, no problem. It's actually raining just a little. I don't know if you can tell, it's kind of, this road is like, you know, it's kind of a little wet, so. But it's working great. Man, the steel with the side starts great if you gotta talk to customer. But man, this is even better. You just let off the button, talk, and this thing's super light. I mean, it feels way lighter than any of my gas handheld blowers I've ever had. I don't know the facts on that. I don't know if that's really true, but it just, it feels way lighter. And I've had this blower for months and used it a lot. So I don't know, I really like it. Let's keep moving. Another great thing about it. See, I just blow all this too and blow some in here. But one thing that's really great about it is like, you know, when you're blowing along and you see some weeds, so you can just let off the trigger and just pull your weeds, you know, and no, no gas is burning, no engine sitting here running. It's not all vibrating and stuff. I mean, man, I'm not even wearing hearing protection. I mean, I do when I'm running the mower, but you know, I'm on purpose. I'm not when I'm running this electric stuff. So, yeah, I'll pull some of these clippings. <laughs> Keep cleaning up. We're gonna get on to the next one. All right, you guys are gonna get to see some accelerator bagger action. As you can see, I don't know if you can see, but we have a lot of leaves on here. And uh, the lady just got new pine straw, so I don't want to blow it in there. So I'm gonna try to use my bagger on this and uh, suck it up best we can. I'm gonna do the backyard bagger too. Fun times, everyone. Fun times. Got some here. Get a whole bunch of stuff out of the lake, and they want me to haul it off. So I still got a bunch more down all the way down the bottom. Got to get so. All right. Keep moving. Show you my setup. I just have my battery charger and a little generator. Um, yeah, I have my little inverter generator and just keeping them charged with that. I have two more batteries I bought on eBay a little while back, so I have three batteries total. Two of them are five amp hour, one's nine amp hour, and uh, yeah, I mean it's going it's going pretty good. Um, I think I'd like to get like a a deep cycle battery like a car battery boat battery kind of thing and have an inverter and that way you don't have to have any run engine running at all i mean the inverter is you know having a power inverter is what i'm saying the inverter generator is quiet but um it'd be even better if you had that set up like i'm talking about with the deep cycle battery and a power inverter 
with enough wattage and then you wouldn't have to hear any engine at all so something to think about you guys but that's kind of my setup as you can see a lot of crap in here and uh let's get some footage of uh edging this yard blowing off as you can see it looks good it's getting a little dry though front front was dry it's really dry so you figure out what's going on with the irrigation there's nothing on the screen looks like there might be some problems with it hmm. you have to ask them about this Something's going on with it. Alright guys. Gotta be quiet. And my wife who went to the grocery store and different things. And she brought Chief of Lake. Sometimes I come home for lunch on Fridays. Sorry, I gotta tell Quiet River he's sleeping. But I had that big load of wood and I drop it off at my dad's house on the way home at his farm. And now we're gonna eat. Hey y'all gotta try a Chick-fil-A. And this, this one, too. yeah. All right, boys. So something to uh, keep in mind is right now through like uh, July or June, um, you can get the Milwaukee. It's called the Quick Lock thing, so it's kind of like the steel km or like the echo pas you know attachment thing you can get one of those comes with the weed eater and an articulating hedge trimmer double-sided hedge trimmer and a nine amp hour battery and a charger for 329 now of all the things you know of all the tools you know gas versus electric the hedge trimmers are like the number one thing that I think is, you know, the best of electric because like the battery lasts forever with the hedge trimmers. Um, so like, I don't even think I'm gonna buy any more gas hedge trimmers. I'm gonna get one of these Milwaukee ones eventually, like I'm talking about, double-sided ones. And at least for the hedge trimmers, you know, I'm just gonna run electric for hedge trimmers. Um, because there's no reason not to. It lasts forever, the battery. Because, you know, I have the hand Milwaukee one. I don't know what you call it, like the 20-inch one. You know, like this, the not long reach one. But, you know, a lot of my customers have big shrubs, so I don't use it. You know, it would be better if I had that long one. Like, I have the steel um, HL94K or whatever. And that's what mainly gets used um, for the big, you know, because a lot of my properties have big shrubs. So... Y'all just keep that in mind. So on the Home Depot.com, go on there, you know, and you can find it. It's 329. I think it's had a date like through a certain point, like um, June or July, because I've been eyeballing them for a while. Tool Boss was talking about them, you know, different things. So hope y'all are doing great. Let's keep moving.
took out my hat. I gotta find my sun hat like the one I ran last year. But until then, you know, just gonna run this towel under the hat, under a normal hat. It works great. You just loosen it up. Put the towel on there first, loosen the hat up a bit. Alright boys, y'all seen this yard. I trimmed these hedges, mowed all over there, pass where that FedEx truck is, and wraps all the way around the house. Over here, mow this big yard. Yeah, buddy. It's looking great, the grass. I scalped it this year. It's um, Bermuda and I scalped it and it helped it so much. So I gotta start doing that better. All right, guys. Here's the backyard. Spraying some weeds. But uh, it's another yard to do this one. It needs water on it bad. So, all right. And up in the front this year, I've done this whole bunch of pine straw y'all seen that in videos a long time ago like whole bunch up through all up along there you know it's just like a big old bed here in front of the house but yeah a lot of shrub but this grass is struggling so anyway i finished spraying this we'll move on to the next thing all right boys so down here just down the street from this yard i'm at um one of my current customers they live in one of my kind of farther out neighborhoods I do, um, but I have like, I don't know, like 10 houses out in that farther neighborhood. But anyway, they're selling that house and moving to this neighborhood that's closer and I already have other yards in the street. So that's a real blessing, you know, it really works out. So when the other one sells and I start doing this one, I mean, you know, it's gonna, after it's all said and done, it's gonna be a great trade, you know, at that point, so. Uh, yeah, so we got a look at it. It's a pretty nice house. Um, let's check it out. I think it starts right here, I'm guessing, right where these grasses start. And it goes this whole thing right here. See a lot of shrubs right here. Got some pretty thick zoysia grass. Um, yeah, let's get out and look at it. We better check this one out a little closer so all right yeah cone out here yeah i got a couple more houses down there i got a yard down the woods that i do down there anyway a lot of uh weed control needed it's gonna be a little bit of maintenance i like it though it's pretty you can see this grass. It's hard to tell on camera, but it's pretty overgrown. Like, you know, it's thick and it's not been edged in a while. So, uh, yeah, not too bad. Oh man, so you gotta pull all this stuff out of here. And, uh, let's do a full walk around. Let's do a full walk around on the property. Why not? Hey, if I get caught filming, y'all know if I stick this camera in my pocket. Oh man, this is steep, steep little strip. This is going to be a push mow spot right here. But it's cool because at the end of the day, years down the road, I'd rather do this yard than the other yard that I was doing. Tim, how you doing, buddy? Yeah, I'm doing real good. All right, what's so up we got? Yeah, um. Yeah, it's not too bad. Their other one's kind of a pain. Just as worse than this, maybe. Huh? Yeah, the weeds are hard to control over there. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I've been doing it for a lot of years. Yeah, it's better than it was, but I got gotcha. you. <laughs> I'm wondering how far over this way. 
goes. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe even down this far. Yes, sir. I was talking to a guy that... I don't know who, what he's doing or who he's working for, but he was working for Emily's brother, so... I didn't get into all that, but... Anyway. He's out here working on something. He's inside ready or something. But, yeah. yeah. This is steep right here. I don't know if you can tell, but it's hard to even stand on it. I don't know what I'm going to use for this. Hmm. Not sure. I can hear some boys blowing over there. Some big houses over there. It's hard to tell. Maybe from here, but and we got a lot of bushes right here, as you can see. But you know, all my properties are kind of a pain. <laughs> Not a pain. They're a blessing that they have me do. But you know, some sticks and stuff over there. That's neat. I guess you can drive your golf cart down there and burp. But yeah, all this gotta be trimmed. Look at this hill, man. I don't know. I gotta... It's like a happy, happy family um, mowing hill there. Really wish I had a walk behind. Might get one soon, end of the year or something. Cause, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll update y'all on um, what's going on with my X mark too. Sometime my X mark walk behind. Yeah. All right. Big shrub up there. Doing that. It's really not that bad. You just got to get used to it. The property. You know. So. I guess he needs to sort his property line over here. We're gonna bring the shrubs, turn this stuff. Not too bad. It's gonna work out. It's gonna be good. It's really not that big of a property. It's kind of big kind of big but nah some of mine are bigger than this it's just a lot of uh, trimming trimming the bushes shrub man this stuff <sighs> I don't know if you can tell it's like 50% plant 50% weeds and it's really hard to uh, clean it out of here I don't know y'all comment below what do you think about that back hill you think I just push mow it or what, I'm gonna have to do something, something like that. So, I don't wanna make this video any longer than it already is. So y'all check out my trailer frame here. Oh yeah, buddy. Some more stickers I gotta put on there too, as well. All right, let's get out of here. All right guys, so let's talk about, you know, like uh, what I think about the all electric. I think it could definitely be done you could definitely go all electric, especially if you get some hedge trimmers. I had to use my gas hedge trimmer some. Because, you know, I don't like using those small ones and unnecessarily getting the ladder out and all that. So, but, um, that and also, um, you know, some yards you need that backpack blower because there's a lot of debris on the, on you know, on the crap on the road and on the grass and stuff. But, you know... You know they'll be coming out with better blowers too it gets better and better and better and also i like to have a better charging system like i said maybe an inverter and a big battery that way i wouldn't have to use my generator because uh i don't know 
I just don't really like around the generator. It gets hot in the trailer a little bit. I have the trailer. I have a max air vent, so it's always ventilated. And, you know, I have the doors wide open during the job. So, I mean, it's all right. It's all right. But uh, I would want a better charging system for sure. And uh, stuff like that. So, I'll work on it. I mean, the future, man. It'd be cool to go all electric. It'd be awesome. It is n really nice. A customer comes out. Oh man, it's effortless. You can just let off, talk to him, and just keep on, just hit the trigger again, and you're rocking and rolling. If you need to pull weeds, there's no vibration. Um, you know, you don't, you feel your head and everything feels a little better at the end of the day because, uh, you know, because you're not a, um, you know, you don't have hearing protection in your ears all day or squeezing your head with the muffs or whatever. So, yeah. So I like it. Uh, here's another one in my yard. Y'all may have seen this before. It's got a patch of grass down by the lake, and I got to pick up sticks all in that woods and everything. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, let's really finish. Let's uh, finish up the video and we'll talk to y'all soon. I better get home, see Emmy and Ribby. And uh, yeah, hope y'all are doing great. Talk to you soon.